Let's the day guys and peace be upon you this morning. So in this video, we're going to learn how to configure open shortest path fast routing protocol or in short OSPF. So OSPF is a standard routing protocol. Standard means that it can be used by with any product, be it Cisco, Huawei, Juniper, etc. etc. It's unlike uh, EIGRP, that is Cisco proprietary. So today we're going to learn how to configure OSPF. And I'll open our Google spreadsheet. I'll let you know that today we're in part 3, number 10. Okay? Alright. So without any further ado, I'll open our Google uh, notepad, I mean, to alert the steps that we're going to follow to achieve the objective. The first step is always to draw the necessary topology, uh, decorate, and comment. So you can see here, this topology cons consisting of three routers and it's 29, 11 routers. So you can see, I've, I have had a comment here, between the routers, there are networks, 10, 10, 10, 30, 30, 30, 20, 20, okay, between the routers. So, and we have three local area network, 10.0, 30.0, and 20.0. All right, so when you go back to our notepad again, configure IP addresses to the routers and hosts. So we're going to configure IP addresses to the, inter to the routers interfaces and to the computers. So for example, let's take a case of this one, 10, 10, 10, 0, slash 30. Meaning, the gig 00 on router 2 should take 10, 10, 10, dot 1, slash 30, and gig 01 on, uh, on this router should take 10 10 10 dot 2 shows that the same applies here and here so i'll do that very very fast to save time and remember this interface here should take ip address in this range and it it will act as the default gateway of this LAN here so let me go very very fast to save time so we'll go to config 00 turn it on first and let's 10 Okay, so guys, basically, I've done the IP addressing to the router's interfaces. So I'll do on the computers very, very fast. And you have to make sure that the default gateway of each computer is the IP address of the directly connected router's interface. So I'll do it very, very fast, save time. Okay, so I've done the IP addressing both on the computers and the routers. So when you go back to uh, step four, step three, I mean, configure OSPF in all the routers to advertise directly connected networks. The main, the main purpose of uh, a dynamic routing protocol is to advertise the directly connected networks. So for example, this router here, it will advertise three networks, the directly connected networks, this network, this network, and this network. Same applies to this, and this one so let me do it very fast later. so come to CLI exit and how do you configure OSPF and remember this is a single area OSPF okay single area OSPF okay all right so how do we configure OSPF very very simple you have to make the router aware that it's using OSPF as the routing protocol and OSPF normally has a concept of process ID okay it's not a must it be the same in all the routers okay all right so let's say this has a process of idea of 11 something like that okay then in ospf we give routers ids a process id first then we give it id id is used for identification so let's say just say router id to be 1.1.1.1 router id is similar to IP address, but you have to make it uh, uh, look uh, not like the IP address, okay? Because our, our IP address, you can see 10, 10, 10, 20, 20, 20, and something that, that, that. So make it something like 1, 1.1.1, 1, 1.2.2, 1, 1, 1.3.3, something like that, okay? All right. So this is 
router ID of I, router ID of uh, router two. So it's this router ID that it will use to form the neighbors. Whenever this router, uh, the, the, this router will refer to router two with its ID. Okay, and now you advertise the directly connected networks. So let's advertise just a network. Uh, one and two dot one sixty eight dot um ten dot zero. Then the wildcard mask zero dot zero dot zero dot two five five. Then there's a concept of area area in OSPF. Which area does it belong to? This is a single area OSPF. So the first area is always zero. The backbone area. Make sure that when you're configuring OSPF, you have to have the backbone area as the first one. Okay area zero all right so then let's uh advertise this network and this network so i just say network uh 10 dot 10 dot 10 dot zero the world of mask of 0 dot 0 dot 0 dot 3 then area area zero still and we enter then we change 2020 And we hit enter, we exit, and you do right. Good. So we go here, go here, and advertise the directly connected networks router, um, router, OSPF with a process ID of uh, let's still use 11. Then the router ID, the router ID must be different 2.2.2.2. ID must be different. Then we advertise the direct connected networks. So here we advertise 30, 30, 20, 20, and 192, 168, 20 or something. So let's start with the 192 uh, network. Network. Uh, network to be uh, 192.168.20.0 with the wildcat mask of 0 0.0.0.255 0 0 area 0. This is a single area or SPF. Always make sure you use area zero. Okay. Okay. Network. Uh, network. Another network is a uh, twenty dot twenty dot twenty dot zero with the world at mask of zero dot zero dot zero dot uh, three area zero. And finally, we have thirty 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 thirty. Oops. Sorry. Thirty. 30 oops 30 it has formed neighbor with the with one one you can remember one one was the first route okay all right the id so uh, i will modify this to be 30 30 30 30 30 okay exit and do right so let's go here also to configure ospf so i click here come to cli exit uh, router OSPF 11 process ID of 11 then route ID route ID to be 3.3.3.3 .3 okay so our network we have, we have to advertise the network the first network that I'm going to advertise there is uh, 1 and 2.168.30.0 I work at mask of 0 .0 0.0.0.255 area 0 the backbone don't forget Another network is a uh, 30, 30.30.30.0. Welcome to the mask of 0 .0 .0 .0 .0 0 0.0.0.0.3. Area 0. Another one is 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Good. Exit and do right. It will form neighbors with the two router. You can see it has formed a neighbor with the two, 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 which was this router here. So let's wait it from neighbor with the uh, one 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 which was this router here oh i advertise wrong network this one is not directly connected network so i will delete it remember i should have advertised 20, 10 10 10 10 instead of 20, 20, 20. all right so um um so router SPF 10, router SPF 11, then 
I delete this network which was 2020. I just say no, no to that network. I delete it now. When I paste it, I modify to 10, 10, 10. And I hit enter. Now it should form adjacency with the first router, which is 1.1.1. .1 Remember, it has formed adjacency with the second router. So you can see it has indeed formed adjacency with the first route. So let's test communication. When I try to ping from um, this one to 20.10 or 30.10. So I just go here and try to ping, ping. I want to 168.20.10. It should ping because you have successfully configured OSPF as the routing protocol. So that's working. Let's set to ping 30.10. Oops, 30.10 is unreachable. 30.10 is unreachable, which I piece this one. 30.10. Did I really advertise 30.10 30, 30, 30, 30. Oops, did I really advertise 192, 168? Oops, you can see I made I made error here. It should be 30.0. Oops. Uh, oh. It should be 30.0. Okay. So when you go back and try to ping again, it's so good that we are running out of troubleshoot. So let's see, it should ping because we just corrected the error. Always make sure that you advertise the right network. My problem is that I didn't advertise the right network. So thank you so much, guys. I believe you've learned how to configure a single area SPF. So when we meet next, we're going to do multi area SPF. Then we finally finish with PGP. Thank you so much, guys. Please subscribe to my channel. Like this video, share with friends, and drop a comment below. Bye, and see you again in the next video.